Hi, we're here at Daytona Beach at Hangsters, and our guest on the floor today is a pretty much all original 1968 real WM code Super B, Dodge Super B. Kind of an upgrade from a Plymouth Roadrunner, Dodge's rendition of a Plymouth Roadrunner. Really, really a straight, nice car. The paint, the car has been repainted. Has an absolutely phenomenal blue paint job on it. No misting, no fading, no nothing on this paint. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Little tiny bit of patina on this uh, argent type uh, chrome that goes around the uh, raised part of the hood that was standard on a Super B and an RT. Uh, the grill itself is very, very nice. No cracks in the plastic. Got our little run and B there. Uh, Dodge designation on the front, nice and clean. Headlight basils are just as sweet and nice as can be. Chrome on a bumper is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It matches the paint on this car. Both as nice as you could possibly hope for. Front end of this car is really straight. The gaps on the uh, fenders to the hood, you can see, are just as sweet as can be. Both sides and across the back by the uh, cowl area. Very, very nice front end on this car. I don't see any marks. It is a fresh paint job, and it's a fantastic, fantastic paint on this car. You'll not find anything on this car to uh, paint-wise to, uh, to pick at. Absolutely nothing. Okay, down the uh, driver's side of our uh, uh, 68 WM Code uh, Super B, again, the paint is just phenomenal. The, the fitment of the panels, everything is just as nice as can be. Chrome around the uh, side marker lights is nice. Bumper fitment, really, really great. This is a base car. It's not a uh, upgraded car. It just has a, uh, it's a two-door post um, coupe. Uh, just a, a really, really nice base Super B. Kelsey wheels on it. A little tiny bit of uh, wear on the, um, the chrome on the Kelsey wheels. Uh, uh, just from age. They are the original wheels. 14 inch came with the car with the correct centers too, by the way. The wheels are in nice shape. They're not perfect, but they're nice. You probably would not change them. They are the original 14 inch Kelsey wheels that this car was born with. Fitment of the uh, front fender onto the door. Really, really, really nice setup here. Um, new whiskers, new wipes. Really look good on the car. Door handle is just as nice and fresh chrome as you could ask for. Original style. Um, remote adjust mirror on this car. Just one on the left side. We don't have one on the right. Um, original uh, rubbers around the uh, wings as nice as can be. Tinted windshield in the front. Correct wiper arms and blades on this car. A little bit of sun fade on the uh, top of the dashboard. Uh, the uh, dash pad appears to be really, really great condition. It appears nice, but a little bit of sun fade, you know, from, through the years on the uh, the painted part of the dash, uh, the dull painted part. Trim around the window, no dents, no marks. Nice as you'd ever find one. Drip rail, same way. Absolutely nothing to complain about on that. No marks, no dents, no scraped or anything on the top of this car. It's never had any issues whatsoever of anything falling on it. The um, paint on the door, absolutely gorgeous to match the rest of the car. Door to the quarter panel, to the rocker panel, you can see is really, really nice on this car. All the trim and software around the window is nice. Again, the uh, wipes in the back appear to be the original ones and they do not need replaced. They're really nice condition. No marks or chips anywhere. Not one single mark on this car. This car is all original tin from what we can tell too, by the way. It's not uh, something that's had panels replaced on it. Not that we can see anyway. Uh, side marker light in the back. A little running B, which is reflective also. And the striping in the back. Just a really, really nice driver's side on this car. I don't see any marks, dings, dents, waviness anything going down the side of our uh, Super B. Great car on the driver's side. Let's see what's out back. Okay, around the back end of our Super B, you can see the fitment of the rear deck is absolutely beautiful. Same as the hood. Really, really nice. 
about an eighth of an inch gap the whole way around it, including up toward the uh, rear panel. Back bumper, chrome matches the front one, just as nice and new and fresh as could be. It's a nice set of slash cut uh, dual exhaust coming out the back. We've got our B running here again. Dodge designation, flat black the way it should be on the back. The lenses themselves on the tail lights and uh, backup lights are just as nice and shiny and fresh as could ever be hoped for. The chrome around them appears to be the original chrome and all this trim around the back end appears to be all original and there are no marks or dents or chips on it at all. Unusual to find this chrome around the uh, tail light assemblies that isn't uh, uh, pitted up or marked up in one way or another. And this one is not. Very, very nice rear end on this car. Okay, up the passenger side. Again, we got our running B. Uh, marker light is nice. Paint, same as the other side. There's not a single little mark imperfection, nothing. No fogginess in this paint. The way it was laid on, it looks like glass. It, it's just a beautiful, beautiful paint job on this car. Trim around the back window, you can see it's really nice. There's no dents or marks, and it's a nice flush fitment of it, so it's, it's not something that's been taken off and put back on numerous times. Half shelf appears to be brand new. Uh, no uh, fading, no distortion or anything in it. Still has the original uh, speaker vents in it, and uh, they're not cracked, there are no pieces missing in them. A lot of these Kelsey wheels, they really add a lot of pop to this car. And they were a factory uh, option on this vehicle. Again, drip rail molding. Absolutely no issues whatsoever. Door to quarter panel, the same as the other side. Chrome on the door handle. With wipes, whiskers. Just nice and fresh. Rubber's nice and soft on them. Door to the rocker panel. Everything on this car fits just, it, it couldn't possibly fit any nicer than it does. A little Pentastar there from Originality, whenever it was uh, originally uh, released from the factory. Again, the trim around the window, our tinted windshield, no marks, absolutely nothing. Front fender, the paint on this car is just, there's not a single stone chip mark, scuff, deviation. Um, Absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing that is out of line. Even the fitment of the, the doors and the, the, the panels on this car are just as nice as could possibly ever have been. Really, really a great car. Got a nice matching blue interior in it, which we'll show you in a separate video. 68 Super Beast were an alternative to buying a Roadrunner in 68. They Dodge sold the heck out of these cars. Uh, basically the same as the Roadrunner with a few more amenities to it. A little bit classier interior, a little bit different gauge package to it. Made it a little bit classier car. Dodge was like one step above Plymouth on that. But it's just a straight car, a nice car. I drove the car. It runs just as nice as you'd ever want it to. It's got a nice cam in it. A fantastic vehicle. It's available here at Hangsters in Daytona. And it's a car that you'll really be really happy with. Okay, underneath the hood of our WM code 68 Super B is what we believe to be, because there are no numbers in 68. 68 on down, there were no numbers stamped on the side of the engine. You had to go by date codes on these motors. And this one does have a correct date coded motor for the build of this car. It is the original, we believe, 383 that this car was born with. Uh, has a Holley carburetor on it, which is an upgrade, a tarantula Edelbrock intake manifold, uh, which is also an upgrade. Those things work really, really well. Standard cast iron exhaust manifolds, which are really getting hard to find right now. They're, they're very difficult to find, and they're expensive when you buy them. This car still retains the cast iron manifolds that it was born with. A new water pump on it. The radiator looks fresh. Someone has had it out and tanked it and, and redone it. It does have power steering. There's a new battery in it. It still retains its original fender tag, which you can break down for the options in this vehicle. Really great engine compartment. New under hood pad. Very clean, no leaks. The car runs exemplary. Has an upgraded uh, ignition coil on it. Press the light distributor. 
It's just a really, really nice, clean engine compartment. WM Super B. This is what we believe to be the original engine that this car was born with. It is a hypo, high performance, HP motor designation. 383, they made 335 horsepower, grossly underrated, but that's what uh, Chrysler did rate them at, at 335 horsepower. Uh, very, very strong running engines. They're very durable. Very few of these motors ever came apart. They were really a great engine. Lots of horsepower, lots of torque. The original motor with this car painted the correct color of uh, Chrysler Turquoise, not orange. They didn't do that until 69. Uh, this car is just as original a car underneath the hood as you could possibly find with a great high horsepower power plant to push it around. Great car. Hi, we're in our 1968 Real Super B. Blue, blue, B5, well it's not B5 blue, it's another shade of blue, but it has blue interior in it, blue carpeting and blue dash. Really a great, great looking car. Interior of this car is very nice. The seats are all nice, nicely padded, a lot of bounce to them. Carpeting it appears to be the original carpeting yet, and it's in excellent condition. Back seat, hat rack, everything is nice. Dash panel is nice as can be. Uh, it has an aftermarket tack in it. It does have a clock that doesn't work, but it does have an aftermarket tack that does. Uh, gauge package. Steering wheel is nice, other than a couple. It's the original wheel, but it does have a few cracks in it. A few cracks. This is being the biggest one on the left-hand side here. All the soft trim inside this car is really nice. Original wheel radio in it, which is still a rare, rare thing to find. Great looking dashboard. It's a nice car inside. Door panels are all nice. All the bright work is nice in the car. Automatic on a column. It's a great looking, uh, great looking Super B inside. 1968. Daytona and Hangsters underneath our WM code reel. 68 Dodge Super B. 11 by 3 brakes in the front, drums, 11 by 2 and a half in the back, heavy duty. At that point in time, Chrysler had the best stopping power in the market, better than anybody else's disc brake system, as a matter of fact. Optional, somebody added an 8 quart a deeper sump pan on this particular vehicle. The motor's been freshened up, out of the car and completely freshened up. Have pictures of all that, new rings, new bearings, new pistons, 30 over, the whole bit. It's done with a fresh motor. 727 tranny, tie rod ends, everything on this car looks as nice and fresh as it could possibly be. A fairly new starter put on it, original cooling lines for the transmission, 727 tranny, and if you note, no oil leaks, no oil leaks, and no oil leaks on the tranny, front or back. So we're, we're good to go on that. Subframes on the car, there are no dents in these. I, normally I can find a little ding or a mark or something where it's been jacked up through the years. I don't see a single mark on any of these. Not only that, it still retains all of its original splatter sound deadener that Chrysler installed on these cars in the uh, uh, 60s, early 70s. This retains all of it. No dents in the floor pans. Just a really great car. Brand spanking new stainless steel exhaust system just installed on this vehicle. It had a set of loud mufflers on it. We took them off and we put a standard set of mufflers on it with a set of, uh, appear to be about two and eighth, stainless steel pipes from the manifolds the whole way back out through the car. Fantastic vehicle so far. Parking brake still functional. Uh, let's see, fuel line, uh, original fuel line still intact, original brake line still intact. Again, the undercarriage of this car is just exemplary. It's hard to find anything this old with this much originality underneath it. Here's one here. Okay, halfway back through the car, we couldn't find anything. Let's do the other half. Uh, rear floor pans, the same as the front. No dents, no dings, original splatter undercoating. You can see the subframes are just as fresh and nice as could possibly be. Torque boxes on this thing where the front spring mounts are for the leaf springs. Um, they don't even have any marks on them. You can still see the original pinch welds. This car is so original underneath it's spooky. It really is. Nice curvature to the uh, springs yet, both sides. 
Um, torque bias, of course, this one has one more than that one. Uh, eight and three quarter inch heavy duty rear end. Again, um, standard type uh, under chassis mufflers that we installed on this car, so it sounds like it did when it left the factory. Drums in the rear, 11 by two and a half to match 11 by threes in the, in the uh, front of this car. Shocks in the back are replacement shocks. Doesn't look like they're that old. Again, no leaks anywhere on this. Even the rear uh, differential, you can see there's no leaks. Gas tank is original. It's uh, sprayed black. Stainless steel pipes out the back into uh, slash cut stainless uh, exhaust tips. The trunk area and the drop downs are, they look just the way they were when they left the factory. Bar across the back, your structural support that ties in with the subframes. Doesn't have any dents or pulls or anything on it. This is a very, very nice car underneath. Very nice. It's hard to find one with this much originality.